If you missed our last video, we shared about this awesome little red house we were able to stay in thanks to the Wilderness Road Hospitality Group. They sponsored this entire trip so we could truly experience their town in every aspect. The lodging, the shopping, the history, and the food. So on our first night in Stamford, we got to eat at Bluebird. It was created to be an approachable diner with all natural and locally grown food. Pretty great, right? And the genius behind this incredible restaurant is Chef William Hawkins, aka Chef Bill. Here's a little glimpse into his story. I'm from Cincinnati, I'm a Cincinnati native, so when I was a young man, I had done some of the microbrews there. In the 90s, Cincinnati experienced kind of a renaissance in their downtown area, in the Main Street area, and all this was blowing up with new businesses, particularly bars, nightclubs, things like that, and I was part of that. There's uh, breweries, Main Street Brewery. And so uh, I worked with that company, and I got written up as one of the city's hot young chefs then. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one of some of the folks from that restaurant group went on to start a restaurant called Elvis Presley's Memphis in Memphis. And I went on to Memphis and did that one there. And that was a four and a half million dollar build for Graceland. And so that was a huge, that building is still there. It's a hard rock now. And then from there went on to Orlando and did Bahama Breeze right down the street from Disney, if you've ever seen yes. it. It's got palm trees inside it. We'd do fire shows on the bar and everything. It was just huge. So all of these are like 350, 400 seat restaurants. Went back to Cincinnati with Bahama Breeze. Did one there for them. And then after that, went to Victoria National. Victoria National in Southwest Indiana was um, ranked 25th out of the nation's top 100 as a Tom Fazio golf course, very prestigious private. So that's cerulean's a nod to that gourmet world. And then, um, but, and I'm giving you a bit of my story here. In 2005, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. My son had just been born, my first son, and I was recently married. And so, nobody ever wants to die. But especially after you buy your first home, get married, and have a child. You're just like, okay, thanks, incurable disease. Um, so, they give me a medicine, it turns out I'm allergic to the medicine. Mm -hmm. I've never been allergic to a thing in my life. And then I was allergic to that. So it's just kind of like life's one-two punch. Mm -hmm. And so I started searching on the internet and other things to look for something to make me feel better. And it was ravaging my system. I was losing as much as five pounds every two days. Mm -hmm. And just drinking insurers like crazy, trying to keep something on and working. And uh, a man, named Dave Fisher, Dave Fisher at Fisher Farms, came in the back door and he said, hey, I wanted to talk to you about my product. I'm Dave Fisher at Fisher Farms. And he said, I raise natural meats and I raise livestock and do it naturally. And I, I thought, oh, here we go again. I have been using Allen Brothers Stockyard since I've been with Elvis's and that's some of the best meats in the world and well-known and I was just, you know, giving it the eye roll. Oh gosh, one of these guys. Well, it turned out that Dave and Fisher Farms were exactly the things Chef Bill didn't know he needed. Dave gave Chef Bill a box of meat and told him to take it home and eat it. So he did. Over the course of the next few months, using Fisher Farms meat and eating it himself, Chef Bill started to feel better and thus began his mission to serve natural foods that were locally grown and sourced meat from animals that were treated and butchered as humanely as possible. The top shelf quality of everything. When they were looking for somebody to come here and partner, I couldn't believe that nobody was here serving the food from these farms. Now I know we're in a rural area, mm -hmm. but you are surrounded by farms that are doing exactly what we're talking about. Grass fed, grass finished, healthy omega-3s, animals that are treated properly, natural foods, I mean, Anywhere else you went, if you went to Charlotte, you went to Asheville, you went to any of these places, there would be chefs there serving that food. Mm -hmm. But they weren't. So I thought, well, you know, they were looking to find a chef that would move here, that would help them build a restaurant. And that spoke to me, even though I was at Victoria National, which was very prestigious for me in my career, that spoke to me at a very intrinsic level. Mm -hmm. And not only did I get that, but this restaurant's closed on Sundays. I'm only doing dinner two nights a week. My children can get off the school bus and come sit at my counter. I mean, this is just, you, 
I guess it, it had my heart. It was one of those moments that was a divine appointment. They needed a chef. I needed that life. And here we are. Bill, an incredible chef, came into Bluebird and made it something incredible. And that feeling of passion and love he has extends into the atmosphere, the food, and his staff. And what I tell my, my staff is, everybody's going through something. So when you look out into that room, I'm just gonna, for instance, this person may have just lost a husband of 20 years. And this person may have just got told that they had Crohn's disease and just had gotten married. And this person, oh, maybe they're on a high and they just got a scholarship. And this person's going through something else. So how do you serve them? The way you do it is with a smile on your face and with a really good cup of sweet tea. And one of the perks of living and working in a small town is that you know everybody and everybody knows you. And I know they're gonna be here. And I get to, and I know, you know, he's gonna have a pancake and that's gonna be scrambled bacon toast, scrambled bacon toast, scrambled bacon toast, and then he's gonna want an egg biscuit to take home to his wife. And I don't know how to, you know, these are, these are moments of mundane, but they're, but they're not. Because I know they're going to be there. And when I walk in the door, I'm happy to see them and I get to speak to them. And, and I learn things about them and, and their family and the things they're going through. And, and we support each other and give each other support and, and laugh at each other's good times and pat each other on the back and give hugs when it's bad times. Before we go any further, let's let Chef Bill tell you about this incredible venue we interviewed him in. It's called Cerulean. Why is Cerulean Cerulean? Well, I didn't want to be Bluebird Catering because Bluebird is Bluebird. And I wanted to do something a little nicer, a little more upscale. So Cerulean is a shade of blue. Nod back to blue, Bluebird. In 2012, when Bluebird started, it was already more than a restaurant. Executive Chef Bill partnered with Marksbury Farm Market and Jess and Angela Carell to open Bluebird and position it as Kentucky's premier farm to table restaurant. A place where the food wasn't only good, but good for you. It's the people, but the underlying reason, the underlying thing, reason I came here was the food. So I had the opportunity to partner with people that, you know, I say no growth hormone, no steroid, no antibiotics. For them, it goes much deeper than that. Um, we have been to Joe Salatin's farm, which is Polyface Farms, and he is a uh, pioneer in, in farming. And I can't speak well enough to really explain that to you, but this, this process that works with the animal in harmony with the nature. So the chickens will come across the land in a certain way and they eat insects and they drop fertilizer and then that will, will get seeded or whatever. And I'm, I'm speaking wrong, I'm sorry, Preston. And then the cows come through and they eat the grass. But anyway, you move one set of animals through and then another set and one, the way it works, the land is the land is continually being fed while it's feeding the animals. And so they do all that and they, and they follow those techniques and it's really good. Grass fed, grass finished, really important. A lot of times there's some odds and ends in the industry. You can say natural foods as long as you did not administer the antibiotic. Mm -hmm. So the antibiotic can be in the food and still call it natural. So you have to know what you're getting. Um, as long as you didn't stick it with a needle, mm -hmm. you're clear. Um, free range chicken can be free range chicken. If you had a thousand of them in this space all crammed in here, you just have to open that door for a certain amount of time each day. But that's not the case with Bluebird. They've handpicked every farm they sourced from and ensured the animals were fed properly, not given any antibiotics, and have acres to roam freely. When you treat the animals humanely and feed them properly, it changes everything. Did you know that a grass-fed and grass-finished cow has the same healthy fats and omega-3s as fish? Yeah, we didn't either. Chef's Menu has some incredible, incredible food, but there's one standout for this season. Gosh, a nice smothered pork chop. I've been selling those like crazy right now. Uh, I remember when I was young, my mother would uh, make a smothered pork chop. And it was basically a mushroom sauce. And you put them in a pan and you just cook them forever at a low temperature. You could do it in a crock pot. You could do it in one of those glass pans. Mm -hmm. And I, I have developed a version of that with Marksberry's sirloin chop. So it's a chop that's like this big and that thick. 
and I sear it real well and get it seared and then I make a, a really nice mushroom sauce and I put it in there and then I bake it for hours and you take it out and serve it with a, I like to do a buttermilk whipped mashed potato. So I just put butter and buttermilk and a little bit of my salt and pepper mix in it. And I whip up that buttermilk potato and I put that giant chop on it and you, it's fork tender, it just falls apart. But I've sold that to at least three groups in the last month and they've all just written back about it. And so thanks mom, that was you. <laughs> and there's something he wants to add. I've always wanted to have a good apple dumpling here. I think that would just be perfect for this area. You know, where you take the pie dough and wrap the apple in it and then core it and fill that with the brown sugar and cinnamon. And then you bake it in a simple syrup and you baste it with the simple syrup while it's baking. And then so you get a whole apple just wrapped in pie dough that's full of cinnamon and sugar and basted in simple syrup and put a scoop of ice cream with that. And they are just so outrageously good, but I have never worked out a way to make them and then hold them and then serve them later. It's hard. If somebody out there knows how to do it, contact Chef Bill in Stanford, Kentucky and tell me how to do it. <laughs> Before we get into the yummy food we had, we want to make sure you know exactly what Bluebird is. And I think Chef Bill said it best. Sometimes when you say farm to table, it, it brings up, I'm just going to say it, a little bit of a pretentious right. demeanor. Mm -hmm. We aren't that. We are peach cobbler, white chocolate pies. But why would you have that here? It wouldn't fit, you know. This, this is a town where you would eat an apple dumpling mm -hmm. and love it or, or have some peach cobbler or have a nice big pork chop. And, you know, can we do that? Of course we can. Can I make you a filet with a marchand divan? Of course. Um, but there's a time and place for that. You can have a private party in here if you like. After talking with Chef Bill in the Cerulean dining area, we were so excited to see Bluebird and enjoy some of that delicious food. But first, he showed us a beautiful patio area still in the works. It'll be a great place to enjoy in the evening with some twinkly lights and that fresh Kentucky air. Inside Bluebird, the atmosphere is what I would call elevated cozy. It felt like home, but it was decked out with beautiful artwork and a visible kitchen, and my personal favorite, exposed brick. Then it was time to eat. We started with the chef's recommendation, fried green tomatoes. Pretty typical, right? Wrong. They're served over ham, scallions, cream cheese, and a roasted red pepper coolie. It's another level, y'all. For our main course, Joni B went with the firecracker burger, which actually shocked me because Joni B's not a burger gal. But this one caught her attention. Pepper jack cheese, spicy dynamite sauce, and pickled jalapenos. I had already sneaked a peek at the menu online and zeroed in on the Cajun chicken penne. Blackened chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, and a Cajun alfredo sauce. Holy paprika, it was so flippin' good, y'all. I cleaned that bowl out. No pasta left in sight. We also took a slice of the white chocolate pie back to the Whitley Cottage. It's a fluffy white chocolate icebox pie with a graham cracker crust and fresh strawberries. Then they finish it with a white chocolate drizzle. Absolutely heavenly. Our entire experience at Bluebird was even sweeter than their tea. Everyone was so kind. Chef Bill gave us one of the best interviews we've ever had, and that food made our bellies happy and our souls even happier. If you're ever in the Stanford area, don't pass up the chance to come to Bluebird. You'll leave feeling better than you came, and it can all be traced back to the heart of Bluebird Cafe. There's a piece of me in there, and, and, and I feed it. After hours, when I get ready to go, I put music on in Bluebird, so that Bluebird has music to listen to, and I say goodnight to it every night. <laughs> this is true. I'm not lying. I love that. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. You take care of your bluebird and it'll take care of you. Thank you to Wilderness Road Hospitality Group for sponsoring this video and to Bluebird for hosting us. Y'all are absolutely amazing. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.